Hello, this is Stefan Merrick from Conductor. And in this lecture, we're going to start a Kafka cluster with three Kafka brokers all on our computer. And for this, we'll be leveraging Docker. So we'll use the same open source products as before. And this will give us this following setup. We'll have one Zookeeper instance and three Kafka brokers that will be running on different ports, 9092, 9093, and 9094 directly on our laptop. And to do so, we'll be using the Docker Compose file. So Docker is going to help us do this very, very quickly. So we will stop our previous cluster and we'll start the new one in one command. And then we'll go ahead in the conductor application to set up our cluster. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start a Kafka cluster with three brokers. So as we can see right now, we only have one broker, but we're going to have three very, very soon. So to do so, I'm going to disconnect from my Kafka cluster just to make it clean. And I'm going to go to my command line that had the Docker command open, and I'm going to press Control C to stop the Kafka stack. So this is going to stop using Docker. And one command I like to do is then to run the Docker Compose, and we'll be running the Compose for ZK single Kafka multiple dot YAML. And this is going to ensure that we have three Kafka brokers running under our Docker Compose. So I will press Enter, and it's going to start our stack right here. And hopefully, the data is happening. And now more Kafka cluster, uh, more Kafka brokers are being created. So everything looks good from my end. This was just one command. And now we don't need to reset up this cluster. So one may say, okay, maybe you need to create a new Kafka cluster. You call it my local Kafka cluster. And then maybe you have to say localhost 9092 because we have three brokers, localhost 9093, and also localhost 9094. This is the three brokers we have in Apache Kafka. And if we want to test Kafka connectivity, this would work, right? But you don't have to do this. So this is great. We can uh, save it as well. So we have a second Kafka cluster configuration. And maybe I want to um, have the color to be shown as blue for this one, okay? But actually, if we were to click on this Kafka cluster right here, okay, we have three brokers now. Even though if we went back to the configuration of this cluster, we only specify localhost 9092. And this has to do with the broker discovery mechanism that I specified for you around the bootstrap servers. So just connecting to one Kafka broker is enough to connect to the entire cluster of Apache Kafka, which is why if you either click on my local Kafka here, or if you log out and click on my local Kafka, Kafka cluster, the blue cluster, they will all have the same capability and the same window, okay? So whatever you want to choose, but this was cool to show you how to create a new Kafka cluster and to demonstrate the power of bootstrap servers. So let's go into this one. As we can see now, we have three Kafka brokers and we can make sure of so by having the brokers right here on the left-hand side. And we can see that we have three Kafka brokers in here with three different listeners. So listener here for port 9092, port 9093, and port 9094. So when we are good with this, we know that we have set up Kafka correctly. And I will be seeing you in the next lecture to start creating some topics with a higher replication factor.